Hey guys, welcome to Cool Bits, where we point out our favorite small moments from popular and maybe not so popular games. These cool bits might be a secret, an easter egg, or just a small detail that really resonated with us. This time, we'll be taking a look at the file select screen secret in The Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker for the GameCube. So you probably don't need me to tell you that the Zelda series has something of a reputation for creating immersive worlds, and The Wind Waker is no exception. Now part of what makes this world so convincing is this true-to-life day and night cycle where you can actually watch the sun rise and set as you sail all over the ocean. It's pretty cool. But did you know you can see this in action before you even choose a file? If you pay close attention to the sky in the background of the file select screen, you can actually see that it changes in the exact same way. So dawn becomes day, then dusk before nightfall. The entire cycle takes just a little under 7 minutes. Yeah, it's a nice touch, but there's something even cooler about it. Now, if you played the game before, you might have noticed that the file select screen doesn't always start at the same time of day. Well, that is unless you actually played at the exact same time every day. And that's because the Wind Waker actually uses the GameCube's internal clock to set the initial starting point of the sky in the background. So if you play late, it'll start off as a star-filled night. But if you play midday, you'll be greeted to a bright, beautiful blue sky. And yep, anything in between's fair game too. Of course, you better enjoy it while it lasts, because it won't be long before the time of day changes. Remember, we're on accelerated high rule time here. This is actually a really cool, ridiculously small detail that most people would never notice. I mean, what the first seems to be completely random is actually based entirely on the exact time of day that you play the game in real time. And this is in a game that makes no other use of the in-game clock, but it is pretty fitting for a series that often plays with the very fabric of time. And that wraps up this episode of Cool Bits for The Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker. Now let us know if you have any cool bits of your own by posting in the comments, and we may feature it in a future episode. Thanks for watching, and make sure to stay tuned to GameExplained.com for more cool bits and everything gaming.